Now to the Biden administration facing some tough questions over how they plan to get students back into the classroom amid the pandemic. It comes as teachers unions are fighting for more safety measures. Jeremy Diamond reports. President Biden's pledge to reopen most schools in his first hundred days may be in doubt. I think it's time for schools to reopen safely safely. Teachers unions are holding firm on demands for new safety measures and the Biden administration has delivered muddled messaging. But new CDC guidelines anticipated this week could provide a clear way forward. We've been trying to get unequivocal guidance and the resources since last June. So I think that that the guidance from CDC, which this president, unlike the last one, will actually wrap himself around because of the science of it is going to be a huge step forward. The new guidance comes amid fresh blowback over comments made by White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki, who suggested Tuesday an open school could mean just one day of in-person learning per week. His goal that he set is to have the majority of schools, so more than 50 percent, open uh, by day 100 uh, of his presidency, and that means uh, some teaching in classrooms. So at least one day a week, hopefully it's more. Saki clarified her statement on Wednesday, but didn't commit to a clear benchmark. Uh, certainly we are not uh, planning to uh, celebrate at 100 days if we reach that goal. We certainly hope to build from that even at 100 days. Despite the uncertainty, Chicago brokered a tentative deal with its teachers union to reopen schools for in-person learning. And in New York City, Mayor Bill de Blasio announced middle school students would begin to return to the classroom by the end of the month. The new CDC guidance isn't expected to require teachers be vaccinated, instead focusing on safety measures like masking, hand washing, ventilation and social distancing. Safe reopening does not um, uh, suggest that teachers need to be vaccinated. The head of the nation's largest teachers union concedes vaccines aren't a precondition for returning to the classroom, but says teachers should be a priority. What the vaccines do, it is a layer of protection so that essential workers, when you have huge community spread, are protected outside in their communities as well as doing their work. And earlier this week, congressional Democrats released the text of their COVID-19 relief bill. It would provide nearly $130 billion to help schools reopen and address learning loss. Schools can use that money to update ventilation systems, purchase personal protective equipment, and reduce class sizes.